What's up guys, it's Andrew here from MAO Magic with the uh, new iPad 3. I don't know if you've heard of it. Um, they're calling it the new iPad, but the official name is just iPad, which is hopefully you guys are supposed to you know, make it easier down the line when they've got like 30 of these things and they don't have to have it the iPad 30S or whatever it's going to be. So just a simple kind of update to the name. So i got a couple here. We're just going to open this one. This is the white one, obviously, if you couldn't tell. So these did get, you know, started shipping today on the 16th, delivered today, I guess. This is the 32 gig 4G version LTE, the Verizon one. So this is the same packaging as the last iPad. So if you've seen the last one, there's nothing new here. You have the same stuff in the box. You have the same packaging. You have everything. It's all the same. So no updates here as far as, you know, fancy new packaging that Apple likes to spend all their time testing. So just go up and open it up here, move the plastic from the back. Slide open the top of the box, and ooh, it looks so nice. Look at those pixels on that screen. So let's actually maybe turn it on so we can actually see how it looks like. But uh, first, if you don't know what comes in here, you just have uh, papers here. You have the same USB cord as normal, 30-pin connector, the 10-watt power adapter, and probably some basic Oh, you do have a SIM card remove tool if you do have one of the 4G versions, a basic start guy registration warranty information and some Apple stickers so that's all that's there so let's actually check out the iPad now so here it is from the outside you really don't notice too much of a difference um, it looks pretty much identical but I'm sure most of you guys know all of that stuff so let's go ahead and just slide it out of the plastic wrap that it is cased in and let's look at the actual physical specs can't even tell the difference. I can't even tell the difference anymore which of these is which. Um, the bottom one is the newer iPad and it is slightly sl thicker, very, very slightly thicker, but you do kind of notice it as soon as you hold it. You can clearly tell. The camera is obviously new, same one as the iPhone 4. It's got a 5 megapixel shooter with all the new optics of the 4S. It's about the same size as the 4S. Uh, I think the 4S is slightly larger and it's also curved. It's much larger than the old one. Here are the SIM card slot on the, you know, back left if you're looking from the front of the new one. It's not on the old one. And the new one actually will work using a micro SIM from AT&T. So if you have a Verizon LTE, it'll be Verizon LTE that will work on AT&T's 3G network. So let's go ahead and look at the screen now. The screen is 2048 by 1536, which as you know is much higher than 1080. So here's a basic side-by-side -side comparison. Obviously the new one's on the right, the old one's on the left. And you can see the difference in the resolutions and the brightnesses between the two. And the colors definitely look a lot better even when it's something basic as this. So, I also want to mention here that the iPad 2 smart cover actually works on the iPad 3. So your same old one that you had before will work on your brand new iPad 3. So it does all the same stuff, the auto turn on, stuff like that. You can roll it, make it as a stand, stand it vertical, horizontal. For typing, anything like that, it still works the same. Suppose that they're slightly moved. So some third-party cases may not work exactly, but as far as the smart cover, it works the same. So I also want to show you iPhoto here, and I'm not going to do any editing, but just basic. It's really cool. Um, if you haven't checked out this app, it's definitely worth it, especially on the new iPad. Here's just some basic food demo video, uh, photos, and they, they're really good. I mean, I took these with a pretty decent camera here. It's a um, uh, D5100 Nikon. So it's no slouch in the camera department that I took these with, but they do look great on this screen, and especially with the faster processor. These things just like have no problem just moving around and stuff like that. So the photos on here just look great. I love this app. I'm going to be using this a lot more, especially uh, with some of the dive trips we're doing here lately. But either way, make sure you check that out. So that's basically it. It's got the new A5X processor, new screen, gig of RAM inside, and a slightly thicker LTE. It's the new iPad. You guys have seen everything about it. So I'm sure you've seen 20 of these videos, but here's mine. Hope you guys enjoy. Make sure you guys subscribe. Check back later for more videos, and uh, I'll talk to you later. See you guys.